To say to him, Show me your glory, and he saw his glory. If you will say, Show me your glory, you too will see his glory. The Bible says, Seek, and you will do what you will find. You hear me? The time of our captivity has expired. Do you know that your Redeemer lives? I decree from today, nobody will shine with your star. You will expand. Receive power to expand. Nobody will shine with your destiny. Nobody will shine with your glory. In the name of Jesus. Lord alive. I know. Building nations. Restoring lives. Changing the world. With the word of God. function without struggles. Grace of God is ability of God in a man that makes him to do what he couldn't do ordinarily. So this morning you will receive grace to pray. And your prayers shall be answered. If you are many the last you will be answered first. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9. We want to pray the prayer of Jabez. Do you know anything God do for one person? It's a proof he can do it for the other person. Yeah? Anything at all you have seen God done means he can do it again. There is no reason to doubt God can do it again. Can control what they come with Abu Abu Biano Toto. There is no reason to doubt. Shout it. God do it again. Look at 
at somebody. Point that person. Point the person. Tell the person. There is no reason to doubt. <laughs> God can do. Tell him again. There is no reason to doubt. God can do it again. Baba, you can do it again. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Father, you can do it again. Hey, hey. He can do it again. God can do it again. So if he did it for Jabez, why are you doubting whether he will do it for you? Do you have reason to doubt? First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9. Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Okay. I will dismiss you by seven. Seven. I'm not dismissing you, sister. It's by seven. Now, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez. Saying, because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. Saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed. Mm. There are two types of blessing. Blessing and blessing indeed. That I can catch up. <laughs> hey, if you want blessing, lift up your hand. You want God to bless you indeed, lift up your hand. If you are among, lift angels are counting. Angels are counting. I want God to bless me indeed. Lift up your hand. Lift your voice and say, My Father, my father. bless me indeed. Bless me. If I hear your amen, let it be so. Thank you, Jesus. Kai. Let me start it again. Now, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. That your hand will be upon me and that you will keep me from evil that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. Do I have another Jabez here? Who will God grant what he will request this morning? That's why I spent time to sing. My God can do it again. He can do it again. There is no reason to die. He will do. You have no reason to die. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. You have no reason to die. Tell him again. You have no reason to doubt. Oh, you are not saying it well. Look at him. Tell him. Tell him again. You have no reason to doubt. You have no reason to doubt. Baba. 
Father, you can do it again. God can do it. Number one, what people are calling you is not what you are. You didn't hear that. Jabez was an honorable man. His mother was calling him pains. Is it in your Bible? About. The Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. But for one incident, the mother forgot that this my son is an honorable son. And he called him pains. Tell your neighbor, whatever negative people have called you, that is not what you are. People have called you useless gear. No, you are not useless. There is an honorable side of you. Oh. Oba. There is an honorable side of you. People refuse to call. People have called you a thief. Yes, there was a time you stole, but you are not a thief. The Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Now, look at the irony. They forgot about the brothers that we are less honorable than Jabez. It was the one who carried potential to be an honorable man that was called pains. Just because the mother went to labor room and it was painful. And when one gentleman one half of show me a woman that went to labor room and she was singing worship. Eh? Push! Father, I declare that I love. Have you seen such labor before? Damn! A baby that was carrying the potential. A baby that was carrying great destiny. A baby that was carrying potential of becoming the honorable. More than all his brothers was called pains. Just because the mother had pains during childbirth. And when the mother called him pains, his life, the, the cause of the mother swallowed his destiny. The honorable in him disappeared. If you check his prayers, he said, Lord, let me not cause pains. Which means wherever he step in, he will not cause pains for people. And then people are saying, it's like the mother knows that this boy is full of pains and called him pains. He was not behaving according to what the mother called him. But that was not his potential. That was not his destiny. But wherever he steps in, he now cause pains. Because the mother said, you shall cause pains. That's why I told you, be careful with your parents. And because he had a useless father. Where was his father when the mother called him pains? In the case of Benjamin, the mother also had pains. What is that name? Rachel. She had trouble putting Benjamin to bed after Joseph. And when she now put Benjamin to bed, she was annoyed over the pains she suffered. And she called him Ben Odnet. And Jacob the father stepped in and said, No, he cannot be Ben Odnet. He shall be Benjamin. And he reversed it. The mother suffered pains. Now, a boy that was carrying potential of being an honorable began to produce pains. When he goes to class, he will produce pains. When he finds another lodge, he 
will produce pains. Everybody will run away. When I was ASL president, we prayed for a lady here. When I was ASL president here, we prayed for a lady in the fellowship like this. I don't know. This is not up to our chief number by then. I don't know about ASF now. Amen. We brought that lady here to pray for her. The father was quarreling with his brother. And one day as they were quarreling, the girl returned from school. And she helped the father to insult the brother. And the brother said, okay, over my dead body will you marry? And he now projected evil perfume to her. Anywhere, anytime she wants to greet a boy, that perfume will ooze out. Immediately the boy will frown. Now what is wrong with you? Hatred from nowhere. When the boy says, hey, now are you now? You are looking beautiful. The, the same boy, immediately the perfume will come out. She will perceive it. The boy will perceive it. Once the boy perceives it, the boy that was saying, hey, now are you to listen? Now you need to carry on. Get out of my way. That was what she was suffering. Until we brought her out. And with prayers, the fellowship broke that curse. Every curse that swallowed the honorable in you shall be broken this morning. Touch yourself. There is an honorable in me. Hey, anybody can say it louder. There is a potential in me. I don't know negative action. I am a spitting. I may be causing pains. I may be causing pains. But today, the honorable in me, the potential in me, the greatness in me, we emerge and pains shall be swallowed. If I hear your amen, let it be so. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Sir, even those ones she didn't call pains, Jabez was better than them. But at birth, the mother pronounced over him, you will, you will just see pains. You will not just suffer pains. But anywhere you step in, you will produce pains. Do you know the implication? People will run away from you. There are people who are in such cause. Yeah. Any business they enter, they will spoil that business. Pray that they will not come to your office. So. Once you employ them, that office will close. I hear Gary, and I go for my OT in I hear Gary, and the customer may be the Jida here, Gary. Anywhere she step in, one trouble. No, there's something that needs to be broken. Number one, I said, you are not what they are calling you. They are calling you prostitute. You are not. Yes, you are sleeping with ladies anyhow, with men anyhow, but there is potential in you that will emerge today. And that pains will be swallowed. From birth, Jabez was carrying destiny of being an honorable from birth. But when the mother called him pains, the pains and the cause swallowed the destiny. As if that is what he is. Now, when you look at him, you think, ah, Mr. Pain, Mr. Pain. But he's not Mr. Pain, he is Mr. Honorable. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracle. I live a life for favor. Because number two, there is a call that swallow a call. It didn't enter. There is a call that swallows a call. The first call was from the mother. She called him pains. The second call was from Jabez. He called unto the God of Israel. <laughs> Who is ready to call the second call this morning? 
Second call is not a prayer you pray in your heart. Mm -mm. It's a shouting. Do you know how to call somebody? He cannot, he cannot, he cannot. The mother called him pains. He was suffering it. Until one day he said, no, let me do my own call. And he called the God of heaven. I'm not moved by what I see. Hallelujah. I am moved by the word of God. Hallelujah. I am not moved by what I see. Hallelujah. Only moved by the word of God. Hallelujah. Okay, I said there is a call that swallow. What we have come to do this morning is to do the second call. We have come this morning to call on the God of Israel. To call Yahweh. To call upon Elohim. To call upon Jehovah Jireh. Oh, yiki yiki. To call on Onandafonwa. That is what you have come to do this morning. To call I am that I am. Do you know the implication? Whatever you call me, I am that thing to you. When you say my name is I am that I am. Whatever you call me, I am that thing to you. If you call me the bread of life, I am that to you. If you call me the living water, I am that to you. If you call me a blesser, I am that to you. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. And his call swallowed his mother's call. Can you follow me? Let's take that passage again. Let's take it again. Now Jabez was more honorable. Thank you, Jesus. Than his brothers. And his mother called. Have you seen the first call? Huh? Now, what his mother called him? Was it what he was? What was what was he? An honorable man. But was called pains. That was the first call. His mother called his name Jabez. Saying, Because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. Kai. And this call swallowed the mother's call. Whatever people have been calling you, this morning it shall be swallowed. Yeah. If I hear your amen, let God begin from you. 